Frizzy here. I am in Indianapolis visiting family and today I am going thrifting. So let's see what I find. What'd you find? I found this. I'm looking at this grab bag with an LOL doll, a watch, and this stuffed animal. I don't know what it is. And this cool. cute. Yeah. And this, I think this is an LOL doll. I don't know what this is. Okay, what'd you find, Scarlatte? I'm not going to get it. I'm I might get it, but I like it. Look at this. It has like a crawfish. Oh, so a bunch of hair supplies? And then hair accessories? There's like a thingy. I don't know what it is. That's a troll. It's from trolls. And then this highlighter. And then this um, notebook. There's a notebook. Notebook. Oh. And then this thingy. Then there's a gold one and then another um, hair clip thingy. And then oh, I found so this jacket. Okay. It's so I'll put it on. <laughs> and I found this Colts jersey that our dad Great. is going to so love. Cute. Great. His and name is on the back. Vinatieri. He doesn't play anywhere, but he was great. And I got this cute so, little summer dress. So cute. cute. Look like <gasps> love it. So, and then I also have this dress. Okay. Second. Oh, this dress, I cannot try it on. Just hold it up like that. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cute. So, and then I also got and I also this. found I also this Gabby's Dollhouse book. Nice. So I got, I found this. My friend has it. Her name is, which I'm not going to say. Okay. We move the hood so we can see what's on the sweatshirt. It's oh, so yeah. cute. Kitty, I love it. All right, guys. I am back at home and I'm going to show you everything that I found on my trip in Indy, which was amazing. So the reason I was there was my sister and her husband went on a vacation to Jamaica. And so I flew to Indy to babysit her, their twin girls who are seven and they are so cute. And you get to see a little, bit, a little bit of them in the video. They are so excited to be on YouTube. So you guys show them the love with all the likes and the hearts. <laughs> Anyways, um, Okay, so I'm going to start off with the best find that I found there in Indy was this Scotty Vest. So Scotty Vest is a Bolo brand, but this is their EDC jacket. It's a concealed carry um, jacket. It has a mi million pockets for your um, ID, your license, your um, good stuff that you want to put in there. <laughs> and then um, these uh, sleeves are detachable, so you can wear it as a vest. But this already sold, I listed it yesterday and it already sold overnight for $175 and I paid $7 for this. So that's an excellent find. All right, next up are some more great finds. Um, these, this is Ibex and it is a new tag Ibex. I was concerned because I was finding a lot of winter clothes in Indy, but I was like, I don't care. They're great clothes. I'm still going to pick them up. And this already sold. I posted it yesterday and it already sold um, on eBay. We'll throw the comps up on the screen. So that's a good one. And then also I found two more Ibex. These Ibex were all together and they were six, $6. So um, the new tag one was $9.99 and these were $5.99. So another, this is the tag, and then this is what the little logo looks like on the back. Um, so both of these sold on Macari in a bundle, two Ibex. So another, you guys, great brand to look out for is this Ibex. It is 100, they are all 100% merino wool. So great finds starting off. When I was in Indy, I was really busy, so I really only had two days to go out and source while the girls were in school. So I had 
this is all just from two days of me sourcing. Um, so next up, I found this gorgeous St. John Sport. It is a dress. It is a pleated hem dress. Um, this is a wool rayon blend. I thought this is just such a classic um, piece. Um, so cute. And there is a little St. John embroidery in the back there too. Another St. John piece. Going strong with the St. John. This is a small, it is a full zip color block cardigan. Um, just a nice piece here. Okay, next up we have this Ming Wang. It is a size 3X Ming Wang. It is an open front jacket. I thought this would be perfect for springtime and it has a cute adjustable tie in the back. I love this print on the sleeves as well. Um, so a size 3X, I just thought this was a nice pick up. It, it, and I paid $6 for this as well. All right, next up we have this Valentino. It is definitely a vintage a Valentino little blazer, navy blue, cute pockets. Um, I will probably put this on Vestir as well. Um, but I just couldn't pass up a designer piece. I paid $6.99 for it, so seven bucks. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pass it up. Cute. Another good winter brand to be out on the lookout for, this is an icebreaker. This is also 100% merino wool. This is a women's full zip jacket, size large. So I got this black one, and then I also picked up this pink icebreaker. There's the label right there. Um, icebreaker, this one has a hood, so it's 100% merino wool with the hood, full zip, and also a size large. And if you guys live in Indy, um, my family lives on the south side of Indy near Greenwood. Um, so I did, an, um, I spent one day on the south side in Greenwood and around that area, and then I also spent the second day I went sourcing, I drove up to the north side, which um, if you're from Indy, you understand that the north side is where there's a little bit more money <laughs> in that area. So I was hoping that I would find some really good things up on the north side. And this is a Diane, sorry, the tag is coming off, but I can just like tack it back on. This is a Diane von Furstenberg, 100% wool sweater. I just thought this was beautiful. DVF doesn't sell as well as it used to, but I definitely still think I can get around $40 to $50 for this piece. Okay, next up is, I couldn't pass it up, especially with the pull tag. This is a Lululemon. These are joggers. Um, Lululemon, they are size two, so they are a little teeny, eeny, beady, weeny. Um, but I said she'll said, said, today, ooh, Junior. I should still get around thirty dollars for these, um, and I paid four ninety nine. So. Right, next up is I have heard of this brand before. I had never found it, um, but it feels really nice. It looks like really nice quality. It's Ministry of Supply. These are just a pair of travel trousers. Um, they're uh, wrinkle free. You can tell. Um, like travel, work wear, very cute. So should should get around like 40 to $50 for these as well. And then here we have a uh, Title IX. So Title IX, again, is a good brand, kind of like a bread and butter brand. It sells really well. This is a wool blend. It has this cute little zipper, tunic length style beige sweater. I was so excited when I found these, obviously, because they are new a tag. So new a tag, Spanx jeans, and they are the flare. So I was very happy to find these. And they did not have these marked up, so they were $4.99. New a tag, Spanx. All day, every day, please. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm very picky on my anthropology pieces, but this is Hutch, sold at Anthropology. I just thought this was a great substantial piece. It is an animal print, um, nice oversized blazer. This is a size 1X. I just thought this is a beautiful piece, and I did see um, some listed for around $100, so I paid $4.99 for this as well. 
I did run into the bins on the south side of town. I was only there for maybe an hour, um, but I definitely just had to check it out. So while I was at the bins, I did pick up this J. Crew um, cute one shoulder piece. This I think would be perfect for the spring and also this one shoulder is trending right now. So I thought this was really cute and bins, I probably paid a dollar for it. And then the next thing I got at the bins were these Patagonia men's swim trunks, hot pink, we love. And I love finding Patagonia. So, you know, it's always a definite pickup when I find Patagucci at the bins. <laughs> And then next was this, again, at the bins. I would not have picked this up had it been at a regular thrift, but it was at the bins. And this is an intimately free um, sequin top. This is screaming Y2K vibes for me. I don't know, like Y2K. Um, so I just thought it was cute with all the sequins. And this is an exciting find at the bins. So bins, I found this Grayson button down top. So Grayson is an offshoot brand of Frank and Eileen and Frank and Eileen is definitely a bolo brand. Grayson, similar, um, you wanna pick it up if you find it, but just a nice button down, like perfect for the spring, lightweight cotton shirt. All right, left the bins and I went to another thrift store. This was not a Goodwill. This was a thrift store south side of Indianapolis. I forget what it was called. But anyways, I found this Alice and Olivia cute red dress. Um, it has this large cutout on the back with a zipper and I love this side detail. Um, but Alice and Olivia, yes. And I paid $6.99 for this. I do love Eileen Fisher in larger sizes. So this is a size large and it is a mohair cardigan. I just thought this was beautiful and it is in excellent condition as well. So paid $4.99 for this at a Goodwill. It'll sell, but um, it is a Nike ACG uh, men's long sleeved quarter zip. Um, Nike ACG is a better uh, Nike brand. So this should sell maybe like $25, $30, hopefully. And I also, at that same Goodwill, got this Allie Miles. I love selling Allie Miles. Just a good bread and butter brand in large sizes, so large and above. Um, I, I don't pick up small or medium of this brand, but large and above sells really well for me on eBay. So this is a nice kind of like artsy, lagging looky-ish with all these cute little buttons on the back. I think I've sold this top, the same exact top before. And I paid, what was it, $4.99 for it. So, a piece that I only picked up because it is substantial. So it is a size medium. This is a very long cardigan. I looked at comps after I purchased it. The comps don't look great, but I'm hoping to get maybe $30 for this. It's definitely winter, so I might be sitting on it for a minute, but I thought it was just really pretty. Four pieces up at the Goodwill. Most all the Goodwills in the North Side, or um, in Indy, their tops are $4.99, so most a lot of things were $4.99. This is a Zyrena, Zyrena, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a good brand to look out for. This is just a basic kind of white button-down blouse, but I thought this would be great for the springtime coming up just for layering. This, another Free People, um, is one of their thermal knits with these fun cuffs. I feel like these Free People with the fun cuffs sell really well, um, so hopefully for like $35, $35 to $40 on this Free People piece if I don't put it in whatnot. So it might be my whatnot show. If you want to check out my whatnot shows, I go live in women's clothing every Friday morning. We'll drop the link at the bottom of the screen. But I appreciate you guys so much. That was the haul from Indy. I'm so excited because some of these have already sold overnight. So it was a great haul. And I hope you enjoy watching the <laughs> my niece's thrift. They were so excited. Their favorite thing to do was go to Goodwill while I was there. So that was fun. Um, anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you.